So I might have lost the film or lost my getting my camera out in time to catch it. So a car just went by. We have a driveway over there that goes 200 feet back. That's not our driveway. It's our neighbor's driveway to his property. And um, she got very nervous right there just from the sound of the car going by. You can see her tail's tucked. She's watchful now. She was uh, bolting at the end of the leash a moment ago. So now she got over that pretty quickly. Of course, I don't know how prolonged that would have been if the car had pulled in the driveway and uh, Ziggy barking put her on high alert too. Good girl. Possibly my tenant's going out, so we might be able to get some more video. Oh, see, she wants out of here now. She was nice and calm before. See her little tails tucked. So just things like that that frighten her. It's very important to start to get her over those things, but not in a way where you're trying to force it. Just kind of so like I'm just being calm. I'm not cooing to her. I'm not saying, you know, it's okay and scooping her up in my arms. I was saying that closely because I didn't want her to think I was telling her that. Not that she would even know what that means for me, but a lot of people do that and they tend to coddle the dog when they're they're scared and that can cause problems. So better just to, you know, nothing just happened. It's all normal and right in the world. They're all just getting used to it. They don't know what the big metal thing is that just went barreling down the driveway. We know. They don't know. And so just getting her used to stuff like that is very important in a controlled, safe way.